it's obvious when you're working on a certain place and uh, uh, you are socially insured and getting your pay of your own country and somebody is working next to you and having a lower wage and a lower social protection, you fear perhaps that he would take or she would take your place. So people fear, uh, uh, fear posting or don't like posting because they consider it to be a tool for unfair competition. Whether that is true is another question, but that's why people do not like so much in a number of countries to see people posted and working next to them. I think we have to see that uh, for a number of jobs today, it's hard to say where a person is working. You have people working at home in charge for a company is established in another country to have a service center for even other countries. So where is that person working? So that's the first problem. You have digital nomads, etc., etc. People where it's not clear at all anymore where they are working. On top of that, uh, you have a mobility. Uh, people go and perform certain services in other countries and come back, do that for a longer period or a, a shorter period. And then if you coordinate social security system, that is in other words, when you try to establish a system to say where people are socially injured, then linking it to work is more and more problematic. And it's especially problematic when you use it also for schemes which nationally are not linked to work, like family allowances or healthcare. Now we have a system in Europe which is doing a very strange thing. They coordinate the national social security system on the basis of the place you work, but internally in the countries, that's not a relevant uh, criterion. So we have to rethink that a little bit. I think that nowadays the most realistic approach would be through the financial, fin financial side, to say all the countries have to operate with a social security budget, partly from contributions, partly from state subsidies, and to organize some fork within which percentages of contributions have to be situated. So then you take away the unfair competition argument to a large extent and you accept that every country can do with that money what they want. It has one very annoying aspect. For the first time, governments will have to justify that for the same amount of money, they may not deliver the same quality of social protection. That's why the member states will perhaps not like it. But I think that's the best solution for the citizens.